Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to continue the journey in learning Cubases. I'm going to give you an overview or a getting started on how to use audio tracks. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, I would like to give a big thank you to Steinbeck to provide some codes so that if you would like to own a copy of Cubases, if you don't already have it because it's quite popular, then please do follow the instruction contained in the video description to find out if the giveaway is still open. Okay, so we are inside Cubases. I've just created a normal um, project and let's start creating some tracks. So at the bottom here left, you have a minus for delete, a plus for add, and then you have a duplication here. Click on the plus for add, and here you have the option to create an audio track, a MIDI track, or a group. In a previous tutorial, we have seen MIDI tracks. Now let's click on the audio track. As you can see, we have an audio track, which is now created. Now let me compare it straight away with an, a MIDI track. So I click on the MIDI here button and it will create a MIDI track underneath the, um, uh, the audio track. Now you can notice straight away that the name of the first track, which is audio, says track one, and the name of the MIDI track says acoustic piano for the, for the instrument which is selected. You can still mute and uh, like so both tracks. You can also solo both track like so. You also have a button here for uh, um, arm for recording like so for both but additionally here you have a monitoring on the audio track which, which when enabled, enable it, it will monitor, monitor it will let through the audio signal from the audio input which can be a microphone or it could be also a, an audio interface now you still have the ability here to freeze a track like um, on the first track and also on, on the other track and also on the MIDI track. Then you have the number of track, track number one and track number two. Now on the MIDI track, if you click on the symbol here for the piano, it will open up a, a microsonic as default where you can choose your instrument and preset. But let's click on the X here. Now with this track selected, the MIDI track selected, let's click on the minus to delete. So the, we have deleted the MIDI track. Now, if you click on this symbol here, which is this arrow pointing to the right with the, a bit of a curvature on the sides, nothing happens. Now, if you click on the arrow here that is pointing to the right, you open the inspector, okay, for the track which is selected. Now, if you click where it says track number one, here it gives you the opportunity to rename the track. So you can click where it says track number one, and for example, you can type audio why not one like so, and then press OK to confirm. As you can see, the name of the track has changed to audio one. Now, if you double click here um, on the main screen, on the, the, um, on the track area, nothing happens. Now that's different compared to a MIDI track. Let me show you, because if you double click, it will create a MIDI region, which you can also select it. Okay. But now let's remove that. So you cannot double click to create an audio region, but of course you can record. So now, now let's try to record some audio that is coming into this in, into the iPad, in this case, through a normal microphone. So we need to ensure that the track is armed for recording, and it is, it is in red here. Then we ensure that we are at the beginning, clicking here on the, big, um, you have to go back to the beginning and transport control. Then we click on the record button and we just say some words. One, two, three, four. And then we click on the play button, on the record button to stop. Now go back to the beginning, let's click play. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, we have now recorded a audio um, coming in, from this case from a microphone. Now we have an audio region. We can click and drag and drop it wherever we prefer, like so. Now we have a cycle here defined by the left and right. If I click and drag the right side here, we can define that cycle and then enable it, clicking on this icon, so that it will continue to play indefinitely between this point L and the left point and the right point here. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two. So this is an audio track, and if you double click on it, it will open this audio editor where you can see the 
waveform at the bottom, which I will explain in another tutorial. So that's different than a MIDI region where you will see effectively, if you were to do the same thing, double clicking on the MIDI region, you will see a piano roll editor. But now let's click on the X to exit the um, that audio editor um, view. Now with this selected, we can, for example, copy click on copy here, you can see now the paste button is enabled, click on paste and you can see that you pasted immediately after that region a new region, which is a copy, click on paste again, it will do the same again. Now, if I was to click plus and add another audio track with that enable, like so, click on paste, it will paste what it has on the clipboard directly on that particular track. So, and the undo button works really well, let me show you undo undo so it will even undo the creation of an audio track so it works extremely extremely well now one last thing for this tutorial click where it says routine okay if you click where it says mono input that is your audio input so which in this case it can be mono stereo audio bus if it is enabled interrupt etc and then you can also check the the input number as well in stereo output, you can do the same. You can activate the stereo output and you also have the ability to go to group tracks as well. And this is how you define your input and output routine. Of course, this is a simple case just with an iPad and just a microphone, which is going directly into um, into the iPad. So you could, you could, for example, connect a guitar, you can connect another instrument and record different audio tracks. And then of course you can cut, copy and paste, etc., which I will show you in one of the next upcoming tutorial. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this introduction on audio tracks. And as always, see you next time. Bye.